Hi Spanish learners! Welcome to another episode of Spanish Academy TV, the best YouTube channel to learn Spanish. Today we will be talking about the 23 Spanish prepositions you need to master to reach fluency. Spanish prepositions are everywhere and you use them all the time, whether you realize it or not. They are like the glue that holds the language together. You can use them to help words and they help to express a lot of different ideas. But before we go into full preposition mode, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Again, like, subscribe, notification bell. This way you'll never miss the best Spanish learning content on the web. So now we're ready. Let's enter into the deep and fascinating world of Spanish prepositions. Prepositions exist in many different languages, and they serve to connect two elements of a sentence, usually nouns, pronouns, adjectives, and verbs. In 2009, the Spanish Royal Academy of the Language introduced four new prepositions, pushing to 23 the total number of Spanish prepositions. If you want to learn more about these newly accepted Spanish prepositions, read this interesting article about them. Let's learn a little bit about each one of them. 1. A. Translation. 2. At. Use it to express time, introduce an indirect object, give an order, or to indicate manner and motion. For example, Vete a tu cuarto. Go to your room. 2. Ante. Translation. Before. In front. Do. We use ante to say that we're in front of, or in the presence of something or someone. Or that something happened before something else. Se disculpó ante todos. He apologized before everybody. 3. Bajo. Translation. Under. Use it to express place and position, but also dependence and subordination. Puse los zapatos bajo la cama. I put the shoes under the bed. 4. Cabe. Translation beside, next to. Almost obsolete, used only in poetic language these days. 5. Con. Translation, with. Use it to express the circumstances surrounding an action, something that goes together or in company of, and the instrument used to do something. Hablé con mi papá. I spoke with my dad. 6. Contra. Translation. Against. Use it to express opposition. Es una batalla contra el tiempo. It's a battle against time. 7. De. Translation. From, of, with. Use de to express point of origin, possession, part of something, and what something is made of. Soy de México. I'm from Mexico. De is one of the most common Spanish prepositions. Read the ultimate guide to de and desde to know more about it. Eight. Desde. Translation. From. Since. Expresses a specific place or point in time. No he dormido desde el viernes. I haven't slept since Friday. 9. Durante. 
Translation During Use durante to express synchronism. Me dormí durante la película. I slept during the movie. Ten. In. Translation. In. On. At. Use in to indicate location and time, but not hours or days of the week. Carlos está en su casa. Carlos is in his house. Eleven. Entre. Translation. Between. Among. Entre expresses that something is between or among other things. It can also express an intermediate state. Estoy entre la espada y la pared. I'm between the sword and the wall. 12. Asia. Translation. Toward. To. Use Asia to express in which way something or someone is moving. Voy hacia mi casa. I'm going to my house. It's time for a little break from our deep journey into the world of Spanish prepositions. I want to remind you that Homeschool Spanish Academy, you can get a free Spanish class with a certified native Spanish speaking teacher. Visit www.spanish.academy slash free dash class or click here. It's simple, free, and you don't need a credit card. You have nothing to lose and a lot to win. Get your free class today. Now, let's go back to learn all about the 23 Spanish prepositions, their meanings, and possible uses. 13. Hasta. Translation. Up to, until. Express the idea of limit or ending with hasta. Espera hasta que se acabe la película. Wait until the movie is over. 14. Mediante. Translation. Through. Mediante is one of the most recent additions to the official list of Spanish prepositions. Use mediante to express how something is done. Te pagaremos mediante transferencia electrónica. We'll pay you through electronic transfer. 15. Para. Translation. For. To. Para is one of the most used Spanish prepositions. It expresses purpose and destination and also the dreaded deadlines. La pizza es para los niños. The pizza is for the kids. 16. Por. Translation. For. Because of. Also very common in the Spanish language. Por is sometimes confused with and misplaced with para. Knowing when to use each one denotes an advanced level of Spanish. You can use por to express time, place, cause, and gratitude. Me he esforzado mucho por esto. I've made a great effort for this. 17. Según. Translation. According to. Use según before names or pronouns and express it with the opinion of other people or institutions. Según mi hermano, mañana va a llover. According to my brother, tomorrow it's going to rain. 18. Sin. Translation. Without. Among Spanish prepositions, you can find ways to express opposite ideas, such as con and sin, or with and without. Use sin to express the idea of absence. Me fui a Madrid sin mi novio. I went to Madrid without my boyfriend. 19. So. Translation. Under. One more of the Spanish prepositions in disuse. In Old Spanish it meant 
under, but nobody uses it in that sense anymore. Nowadays, you'll only hear it as part of fixed expressions such as so pena de, under the threat of, so pretexto de, under the pretext of. If you want to learn more about this linguistic fossil, read this intriguing article about the history of so in the Spanish language. 20. Sobre. Translation. On, over, about. Sobre is a useful word that serves various purposes and expresses different ideas. You can use it to express location, position, or to indicate what something is about. Dejé mi reloj sobre la mesita de noche. I left my watch on top of the night table. 21. Tras. Translation. After, behind. With tras, you can express both place, behind, and time, after. Tras una larga sesión, el congreso aprobó la nueva ley. After a long session, Congress approved the new law. 22. Versus. Translation. Versus. One more of the newly accepted Spanish prepositions. Versus is used to express opposition. La final del mundial será Brazil versus Argentina. The World Cup final will be Brazil versus Argentina. 23. Via. Translation. Through. By. You can use via to express the route you're taking or how you'll be sending or receiving something. Las vacunas llegaron por via aérea. The vaccines arrived through air flight. And that's it! Those were 23 Spanish prepositions. I hope that you enjoyed this intensive course into some of the most useful words in the Spanish language. And that you'll be using some of them pretty soon. Remember that the correct use of Spanish prepositions is a sign of an advanced learner of the language. Has learning about Spanish prepositions only made you want more Spanish content? Click on the link below and download our free ebook Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories for Beginners. The Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories for Beginners is Homeschool Spanish Academy's free ebook that's best suited for A1 level learners and above who wish to improve their fluency through reading. It's not only fun for kids, but also adults. This free ebook comes with six weird, wacky, and super entertaining Spanish stories in a magazine style PDF with pictures and English to Spanish parallel text. And that's all for today. See you on our next episode of Spanish Academy TV. Adios! I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all Spanish learning updates. Hasta pronto!